Uh, let's talk forwards, not just because I got one on, on set with me. Uh, and we'll start here, I guess, with the guys that were left out, too, because there was, there was a lot of choices for you. In the end, it's Ricardo Pepe and Jordan Pifak who were kind of the odd men out. What, what went into those choices? You know, Ricardo was another tough one based on his body of work and qualifying, scoring three goals for us, some big goals, um, two against Jamaica, one in Honduras. And, you know, watching, watching him every week in Groningen, thinking about the opponents that we have, we think that the other guys will be um, better suited. And it is a type of, of a scenario where we, we don't have time. We have a week before our first game, and we're playing against very physical opponents, and we, we chose the other ones. Let's talk about a guy who did make the list, Haji Wright. Mm. Back in June, he played for you in the CONCACAF Nations League, and you said publicly that he didn't do enough to take advantage of, of that opportunity. What has he shown you to prove that he's done enough? To Goals, get baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I think that was a case where, you know, we were hoping Haji was going to play in that game and crush it and have a hat trick. He didn't do it. The message to him after that camp was, listen, now it's going to be about what you're doing with your club. And he's in a good league. He's second leading goal scorer in that league, and he's scoring goals weekly. There's one of them right now. Antalya Spor in Turkey where he's uh, lighting up. I think he's second only, though, who enter Valencia in terms of the, uh, the golden boot there in Turkey. Go ahead, Eric. Uh, you, you spoke about Haji Wright scoring goals, Ricardo Pepe, he's another man who's scoring goals. I mean, what was it about Ricardo Pepe who had a built-in equity with you that you said, you know what, Haji's the man right now? Again, I, I don't think, you know, in, in our eyes, we weren't, we weren't um, comparing Haji to Ricardo. We were comparing ha uh, Haji to Jordan. Physical to Jordan Pipa. Yeah, more physical. Pre like, we wanted one profile to be a physical presence. Okay. And, um, you know, with Pepe, it was coming down to we were comparing him more to Jesus. And we thought that Jesus, um, which one of them can fit more into what we do. And that's what it came down to. Hmm. Do you have three different profiles of the forwards you need? We think we do. Uh, you know, we, the physical striker, um, goal scorer, counterattack in, in Haji, and uh, being able to score on crosses. Josh is kind of a hybrid between, between Jesus and Haji. Mm -hmm. um, and he plays in England. He's very familiar with the opponents there. And we think that's going to be an advantage for us. And then with Jesus, we have the, the, the playmaker, the defender. The, you know, he does a bit of everything. So in goalie, you got your starter. That's not going to be a position that you do by committee. With striker, I feel like it could be. Is it, an, is it a, this guy is my number one at the number nine, or is it a rotation? Is it hot hand? Yeah, I think, I think it could be something like that. Um, you know, we have in mind, but uh, I don't think anything's cemented there. We're going to have to see how, what they do with their game time and how effective they are um, given the game plan. What's the profile of the striker you're looking for against Wells? Yeah, so... Um, we have a clear idea of what we're looking for against Wales, and you have to wait until the 21st. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Everybody watching from Wales, turn it off right yeah, now. So Gareth yeah, Gareth Bell, turn it off. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.